You're listening to the KSO Show. He's Graham Flanders. I'm Derek Young. And just a reminder, obviously, you're on our YouTube channel right now. If you haven't liked us, like us. If you haven't liked this video, like it. Comment on it. That'll help us out as well. Subscribe to our channel is probably what I should have said to lead us off. But we promised we'd be taking different approaches to how we discuss uh, the game this week between Kansas State and Stanford. And this time, let's, let's look at some matchups that we might think that mm-hmm. it's important for this game and they could tip the scales one way or another and quite honestly you know you could look at it offense versus defense or whatever but it's Kansas State and it's Stanford yep. both these teams want to smack you in the mouth that's how they get that's that's how they win mm-hmm. that's what they're about ground Stanford pound. physical ground pound downhill they've gotten away from it the last couple of years everyone expects them to maybe return to that brand or style uh, once again this season Kansas State, Courtney Messick and Chris Kleiman, they want to take their air out of the ball a little bit as well and ground and pound, limit possessions, and smacking them out. So this game's going to be one in the trenches. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, that's some in the area that Stanford has probably the most success at on their defensive side is that defensive line. Um, they could be pretty scary. A couple of guys in that defensive line, I think, could live in the backfield against uh, a weaker team offensive line but Kansas State has an offensive line coming in that is prepared deeper than they've been in the past is prepared um, probably a starting line that you know you saw last season as well um, which makes me think that this team will absolutely be prepared to block Stanford as as well as possible but I do agree it's going to start in the trenches and who's going to win this game is probably going to be the one that also controls the the ground game which also is a big part of the trenches. Yeah, and when, when talking to the offensive players for Kansas State on Tuesday, they said, and I and, you know I asked a few of them, and I said, what, what's the unit or the, the, the level on the other side of the ball that could, put, could perhaps present you guys with the biggest challenge? Mm-hmm. They say the defensive line. Um, then I asked the defensive players, and even some of the secondary players, Russ East, you know, uh, Julius Prince, you know, yep. Um, Eli Huggins. Eli Huggins, of course, says the offensive line. What he, he says, those are some big dudes. Mm-hmm. Kaboy Doe said, those are some big dudes. Stanford has an offensive line. Russ East, I said, hey, what's the unit? He's like, you know, I focus on the receivers. I play safety. I'm looking at the receivers. I'm looking at the running backs. But when you watch the tape, it's their offensive line that jumps off the table. So Stanford, really good offensive line. Um, really good defensive line, too. I mean, ask Deuce Vaughn, you know, what's, what sticks out about Stanford from a personnel standpoint? What's their best level? whether it's the first level, the, the second level, or, or the back end. And Deuce Vaughn, the running back, says, hey, it's the first level. He talks about their defensive line and mm-hmm. where they have their skill position or have the most skill. And he actually pointed out one player that they know that could give them problems, and it's Thomas Booker on the defensive line. has a lot of versatility, mm-hmm. is able to be really productive, and someone that they obviously have have their eye on. So Thomas Booker is a name you know that they've already pinpointed. But this game's going to be one in the trenches. Kansas State says – too, you know, they even though they commented, Stanford's best side of the uh, best unit on the offense is the offensive line. Best unit on the defense is the defensive line. Well, Mike Tuias, Sopo, and Chris Kleiman have both said, "Hey, this is as good as we thought about our defensive line mm-hmm. since we've been here." We asked, we talked to Connor Riley, we talked to a bunch of players. They said this offensive line is the strength of our offense. Mm-hmm. So it's not only going to be one in the trenches because it's their brand, their style of football. It's good on good at this point. Oh. Kansas State thinks they feel the best about their defensive line since they've been there. They think their offensive line is the strength mm-hmm. of the team. They think Stanford's the best offensive line, defensive line. It's it's basically strength against strength in this game. Absolutely, and it makes you wonder too, what about the matchups outside of that? Because that's going to be a key matchup. Then who's actually going to be the playmakers to get the football into the end zone? Um, a couple of good backs that Stanford has could control the ground game and allow that offensive line to, to work its way down the field. Um, and allow you know quarter, uh, Stanford's quarterback to to find his guys that Kleiman called his receivers, uh, Stanford's receivers as the guys that will go up and catch the football if you put it in their vicinity. So that's another thing. It's like while those guys are battling up front, who's going to make the plays around them? Obviously, K State has the playmakers. Deuce Fawn. You know we're gonna see some if a wideout can actually come out of his shell this year and Malik Knowles or Trev Aston Taylor or anyone else down the line. Who's going to be the guys that step up? And I think that's going to be key um, from a skilled player's position. But you're right. It's going to be one up front. Yeah, everything that each of these two teams does 
depends on if they can win the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. So the team that wins the line of scrimmage can push back, can do, can be disruptive yep. as a defensive line, or you know produce some of the gaping holes on the offense. I mean, that's the team that's going to win. Um, and everyone's listening to this and hope, hopes it's K-State, but Stanford's a tough team to win the line of scrimmage against. Yeah. So that, that we're going to come out swinging right out of the gate. And it's the first game. I know uh, the offensive line for K-State is is confident, and everyone on this team Chomping is at confident. The bit. Yes, absolutely. But you, you really never know. We heard Mike Packer say it on our way home from Manhattan today. You really never know until you actually see game one, until you see with your own eyes how it unfolds and how – just how much potential a team has so you really can see it yourself yeah and you're probably listening to this on a wednesday uh tomorrow we'll, we'll we'll get back on this you know podcast that we're putting on youtube the kso show probably talk a little bit more about what we heard from offensive coordinator courtney Messican, about mm-hmm. what we heard from defense coordinator joe Klinerman because we we speak to those guys on thursday then our picks are coming on friday like i said subscribe to our youtube channel like this video that's actually audio And he's Grant Flanders. I'm Derek Young. Tell your gosh darn friends.